Hello students, today we will study a beautiful chapter named The Enemy. This chapter has been taken from the Flamingo book of class 12 of CBSE. The author of the chapter is Pearl S. Buck. Now before starting the chapter, I request you to kindly like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may receive regular updates. Now the story starts with a particular character. He's the central character of the story. His name is Sadat. He was born in Japan and his father wanted him to flourish. So his father sent him to USA for higher studies. Now Sadat goes to US and there he undertakes a training to become a successful surgeon. One particular day, he was invited by his professor to his house for a party and there he met a fellow student named Hannah. Now this girl was Hannah who later became his wife. Both of them, they came to Japan, took their parents consent and married. Now the time passed. After a few years, the political conditions of the world changed and the world war started. Now, Dr. Sadao, he was a trained surgeon, so he was entrusted in an important task. The task was to take care of the Japanese general whose health was failing. So, he had to take care of the ailing Japanese general. Now, one particular day in the evening, Dr. Sadao and his wife, they were taking a walk along the sea coast. They noticed a soldier lying near the sea coast. They rushed to help him, to rescue him. But when they overturned the soldier, they were surprised and shocked. When they saw the white skin and the yellow beard of the soldier, they realized that he was an American soldier. Now Dr. Sadao was stuck in a dilemma. The dilemma was that whether he should hand over the wounded soldier to the Japanese police and the army or as doctor he should save the life. He was in great dilemma and after a lot of deliberations with his wife he decided to take the wounded soldier to his house because he knew that if the wounded soldier is not provided immediate medical assistance he would die. So he took him to his house for treatment when the servants in the house came to know that the doctor has brought uh, an, an American soldier for treatment, they were furious. They were furious and they left the service of the doctor. So all the servants went away. But still, Dr. Sadao and his wife Hannah, they were firm in their resolve because they knew that it was his duty to save the life of a dying man. And they knew that it was the foremost duty to save the life of a dying man and then comes the duty of the nation. So they took a good care of the wounded American soldier and after many days the wounded soldier got healthy and he was staying at the Dr. Sadao's house. So one particular day Dr. Sadao went to the Japanese general and he told him all the events which led to the American soldier turning up in his house. Dr. Uh, this uh, Japanese general he heard the entire story of Dr. Sadao patiently and then and then uh, he assured Dr. Sadao that he would send he would send his assassins to kill that wounded soldier and uh, for a few days Dr. Sadao waited for the assassins but when they didn't turn up Dr. Sadao thought of helping the American soldier to flee away so Dr. Sadao he arranged a board and provided with all those necessary things needed for existence and he gave it to that American soldier and told him to flee away. Thus we find that in the end the humanity it prevails over all kinds of odds and obstacles and Dr. Sadao he was right in choosing between his country and his profession because the noblest thing is to save the life of any person irrespective of caste, color, country or religion. So here we find that Dr. Sadao had overcome this obstacle or the hurdles of caste, color, country, religion and he believed in humanity and in saving the life of a, a person. 
Hope you liked my video. Thank you.